GrabCigar.com, and with me as always is Nubs. What's going on? Ashtray. Ashtray. And the punch. Punch it up. And uh, this week's review is a special review. We're going to be reviewing the Cigar.com house blends. Unfortunately, they didn't, they didn't uh, donate multiple sticks to us of each one. But they did give us eight sticks, so one of each. So we're going to be doing four cigar reviews and one review for you. A little special edition. Hopefully it doesn't get too confusing. Uh, we're just going to try to run through this as quickly as possible because this will be a slightly longer review than normal. Uh, the, we're going to read off what cigars we're smoking and uh, the overall construction of the cigar and what the you know uh, first aroma of the stick is. And then we'll clip it and light it and smoke it like we normally do and come back you know, about an inch in and give you our first impressions. Uh, I'm reviewing the Cameroon label, and according to the magazine, it is a Nicaraguan Cameroon uh, wrapper. Uh, it doesn't really have the uh, oily sheen that you normally see on the uh, Cameroon wrappers from like premium cigars, but it does look like a pretty decent stick overall, and uh, the, the construction is uh, pretty decent. There's really no large veins or anything, and I didn't really get anything from the aroma. I already smelled it, so that's pretty much mine. Nubs? I'm smoking the uh, Rojo label, and it's also a uh, Nicaragua uh, Habano. Um, you know, it's not really, not really any smell there at all so far. You know, the, the foot of the cigar, it's like hardly anything there. Um, I guess, you know, when we clip them up and start smoking them here, we'll find out. How's the construction on it? Uh, construction on it is, you know, pretty smooth, pretty straight, no cracks or blemishes or anything. Um, I guess we'll just have to find out how, how it tastes when I flip it up and light it up here. Cool. Hey, what's up? I got the uh, purple label. Uh, this purple label is a Nicaraguan Connecticut. It's a uh, Nicaraguan Connecticut wrapper on it. No aroma to it. Uh, but, you know, hopefully this is another quality product from uh, Cigar.com. What do you get? Uh, I'm smoking the Red Label. Red Label is a Nicaraguan Maduro. And uh, construction uh, looks pretty solid. Uh, I don't see anything uh, that's alarming me here. I did take a whiff of it earlier. Same thing. Not really much. Half the aroma. So, I'll have to wait and see. All right. There you have it. Uh, for, uh, first glimpse at the uh, four of... The Cigar.com house blends, we're going to clip them, light them up, and start smoking them, and when we come back, we'll tell you what we think. Be back in a second. What's up? We're back. Uh, this is Paunch here, smoking the red label. This is the uh, Maduro of the Cigar.com line. Um, on this one, I'm picking up a lot of uh, pepper. It, it took a little bit to build up, but uh, I'm in about the first quarter of the cigar here, and it's, it's really kicking in, so... I'm uh, really enjoying this cigar. Good draw. Uh, construction's holding up on me and uh, really tasty. How about yours, Ashtray? Well, <clears throat> I've got the purple label and it's a Connecticut. Uh, you know, I haven't I haven't really gotten anything from it, unfortunately. Uh, there's not really much taste there at all. Uh, the burn on it's good. The draw on it's good. The construction on it's good. But there is, uh, you know, it's like I got no nuts. I got no wood. Everything an ashtray looks for. Uh, <laughs> I guess it didn't come out right, but I'm not getting the flavor that's described in the uh, in the article about it. What about you, Nubs? Well, um, I'm smoking the uh, Corojo label here. Um, kind of confused on the cigar. It's like when I when I clipped it, it like come on I don't know if you can. Can you zoom oh, in yeah. on that? Let me zoom in on that. And it kind of looks like it's a... Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah Ashtray says it's pretty bad, but this is actually worse. Can you see that? It's See how it's unraveling there? All the way. It's falling apart yeah, pretty bad. And it's like kind of growing a, a second ash there. Yeah, you can Some see kind it. of weird stuff going yeah, on. That's horrible. That's... That's bad. I'm almost, I'm almost afraid to smoke the thing. I'm afraid it's going to like explode on me or something. 
but other than this uh, mishap here, um, I'm not getting really much flavor out of it. Um, it's a good draw and everything, but just kind of... It was just surprising with how bad it's doing right now. How do you, how do you say that the uh, construction overall is holding up? Construction sucks. <laughs> Big oh, time. It's horrible. Uh, I'm smoking the uh, Cameroon label, which is a Nicaraguan Cameroon wrapper. Uh, construction's been all right for me. Burns a little crooked, but not too bad. Nothing you know uh, you can't just fix with a, a lighter. But uh, taste wise, I didn't. I wasn't really picking up much at first, but then I started picking up like maybe a little bit of like cedar and cream. Uh, uh, mostly on the retro hill, I had to kind of look for it, but it almost hits you at the very tip of your tongue, like a slight sweetness with the, and then the cedar and the cream, but then it goes away really quickly. It's really hard to grab it, but it's there. It's not a bad smoke. It's smooth, and uh, you know, for 250 a stick, that's how much all of these cigars are. 250. These are the robustos, uh, five by fifty. And you can get a box of twenty for uh, forty-five ninety-five or two fifty singles. So, you know, free shipping on an entire order uh, with the with box purchase of these two. You know, cool. uh, one other thing you could actually try is they sell the uh, sampler pack, which is one of each of these, and uh, they'll give you a total of eight cigars for seventeen ninety-five. So you can actually have the opportunity to sample them all if you don't want to go ahead and get the. Uh, the 50 for the 24 cigars. Yeah. Alright, uh, you know, it looks like everything so far is going pretty good except for uh, uh, Ashtray has no uh, nuts or wood and Bob's cigar is falling apart. Bob, who's but, Bob? Uh, Bob, who's that? Oh, Nubs, that's right. <laughs> Nubs. It's Nubby. Uh, the Toll. Sorry, Nubby. Toll. I don't think Nubs is going to make it to the Nub on this one. No, I don't think so. It doesn't look like it's yeah, going to. Soon as I'd probably tear this freaking label off of here. It's probably just going to... whole thing's going to come on right. I would have just smoked the label, too. <laughs> <laughs> smoked through the label? Probably wouldn't notice much of a difference in taste if you're not getting anything. Be, that's what I was going to say. It'd be, it might be a good idea to smoke the label on this thing, so I pick something up. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of paper taste there. All right. We're going to keep smoking this, and uh, we might even make it down to the nub before we come back, since this is somewhat of a longer review. But we'll see. Uh, we'll be back in a second. Hey, what's up? We're back, and we're uh, just finishing up our Cigar Icon House Blends. Uh, as we said before, each of us have different ones. We'll go ahead and name off uh, the ones that we're smoking so you can remember which one it was. Uh, this was the Corojo. Nope. Or, I'm sorry, not the Corojo. Uh, the Cameroon. It's a Nicaraguan. All of them are Nicaraguan. Uh, it's a Cameroon wrapper. And uh, it actually mentions that it had a subtle, sweet finish, and I do agree with that. There's some sweetness picking up on it. Uh, overall, some nice hints of uh, cream and cedar. Not like a lot there. You know, it's not the most complex cigar in the world, but it is a cheaper cigar. But really smooth, good, good construction, nice burn, and nice flavors for a cigar that's like two fifty a stick, or, or maybe even a little cheaper based on if you buy it by the box with the free shipping. But uh, you know, uh, I would, I would definitely buy a box of these, and I'm gonna say uh, diamond in the rough on mine. Oops. Uh, I'm smoking the uh, Corojo label here, the one that was uh, kind of unraveling on me, or badly unraveling on me. Um, I'm not really getting much taste out of this thing, you know, because, you know, obviously the wrapper wasn't there and pretty much smoking the binder here. Um, <laughs> Sucks. <laughs> sorry, Cigar.com people, you know, I'm going to have to give this cigar a bad comment, but, you know. What are you going to rate it at? Sometimes it, sometimes it happens, you know. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Um, is it dog turd or is it shitty as shit? I'm going to have to say shitty as shit. Damn. Damn. Well, <clears throat> as for me, I've got the purple label. It's a Connecticut, and, uh, you know, it says on the, uh, on the information here provided, that it's actually uh, listed as a bestseller along with the Cuban, I guess. But, uh, you know, I guess for someone that really, really doesn't like to have any uh, flavor or any taste, or <laughs> they really don't 
like anything to do with uh, smoking a cigar, but they had, like to hold it. I guess this would, this, would, <laughs> this would probably fit. I mean, and we laugh. There are people out there like that. You know, yeah. Like at the golf course, they probably don't want anything too crazy. They just want this. To. This would be a perfect cigar for them. And uh, you know, it says that in the in the information here, it says that it's actually uh, a light. It's it says that it's uh, it's got lots of flavor, and it's a mild body. Uh, unfortunately, there's no flavor, but it is a uh, more than mild. I'd say it's a light body. And uh, you know, uh, Andy, Tim, Kelly. You guys are, uh, Matt, you guys are going to have to talk to Alex and maybe uh, get with whoever's behind uh, working on designing this particular blend and see if there's uh, maybe some more flavors that can be added to this particular one. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to go with on this a, uh, I guess I'm going to go with a friend worthy. I would probably give this out to someone that I know that they really don't like, uh, you know, very harsh cigars, this would be a real light thing to, to give to them. If you're on the golf course or something like that, that would be a, a perfect smoke for someone that doesn't smoke cigars. Alright, I've got the uh, red label, uh, that would be the Maduro of the bunch. Um, this one I've actually really enjoyed. Uh, lots of pepper, uh, really strong smoke, uh, no harshness, good, uh, good burn, good draw. Uh, everything on this is uh, really good for me. It did take a couple of puffs to start for that pepper to start kicking in, but uh, really, really good to the nub. So I think I'm going to have to go diamond in the rough on this one as well. So we got a two diamonds in a rough, a friend worthy, and a shitty as shit. Shitty as shit. Wow. So uh, lots of different mixtures there. Yeah, I mean that's that's uh, two out of four hits a diamond in the rough. So yeah. I mean that's not bad. There's still again, one more cigar to review too. Yeah. There's mm -hmm. eight total. So. <clears throat> yep. And again, one thing I will bring to mind is that I particularly do like the Maduro type smoke. So somewhat of my opinion could be biased. I just want to throw that out. But mm -hmm. someone that likes Connecticut may put, may like this. Yeah, I was looking at yours. They said that it rivaled a lot of premium high price uh, cigars on the market. Uh, I took a couple hits off the years. I didn't really get that. It was nice and smooth. Uh, I might have went with the yard guard myself, but uh, definitely doesn't rival the premium. I think uh, I think you line this up next to uh, Rocky Patel, Connecticut. Anyone's going to pick that, probably that Connecticut over this. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Alright, uh, there you have it. Two Diamond in the Roughs, uh, friend worthy and a shitty as shit, unfortunately. Uh, nub cigar completely fell apart on me. Got down to smoking the binder, so uh, I feel sorry for him. Uh, you know, nobody wants to have that. Uh, that's about it. Cigar.com house blends. This is part one. We have four more cigars we're going to be reviewing in another part, so look forward to that. Uh, and uh, this is Long Ashes, Nubs, Ashtray, and Punch. Punch and it up. We're going to continue to. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna you continue fucking. to fuck. Ah, oh, oh, fuck this shit. Oh. Oh. All right, try this. This will work. <laughs> <laughs> There's no flavor, Joe, but you can fuck. <laughs> <laughs> can I stick my dick in it? <laughs> That's just another way of saying you can fuck it. <laughs> All right. This is long ashes, nubs, ashtray, and punch. Punch it up. Punch, and, it uh, punch it to the max. You smoke the shit. So, so you, you don't, don't have, have to. to.